Hey y'all. Um, so I'm back again. Um, actually, I'm just gonna use it because we're gonna do it. Um, I don't think I'm going to move here. Um, uh, let's go to a little louder than I expected, but that's okay. Yeah, okay. Oh, uh, we got some background tunes uh, to work to. We'll, we'll see how this goes. Um, and yeah, so we are going to work on uh, Spark Upgrade tooling some more. Uh, it's been a while. Uh, well, actually, I guess technically I was working on it a bit yesterday, but Uh, before yesterday, it's been a while. Um, so, let's. Cool. So, let's go ahead and we're going to look at the test. Um, let's take a look at the rule. Okay. So rule example. That's currently the only rule. Um, order by on these columns is forbidden. Okay, best practice. Okay. And then we're going to go look at the tests. Okay, that just goes ahead. Oh, okay, cool. Okay. Cool. Um, We've got like a fuzzy idea of a place to start. Okay, so now the next thing that I'm going to do um, uh, Okay, Spark 3.0 release notes. We're going to go ahead and we're going to grab the Spark 3.0 release notes. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to jump down to Spark C4. Okay. what I want is I want breaking changes. Here we go. Ah, is, there we go. Migration guide from 2.4 to 3.0. Yeehaw. Uh, oh, thank God. Yeah. Okay. And Spark 3. Uh, let's zoom in because if I'm having to lean forward to read it, you probably can't read it either. Um, and let's also start the walk walk uh, thing. Go ahead. We're gonna put on the uh, lo-fi music too. We're just gonna put on lo-fi hip hop. Um, beats to study to. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Ah. Okay. 
Okay. Oh. Hi, Carol. Carol? I'm not. Okay. Anyways, hello, friend. Yeah, so let's go ahead. Um, data, set, data frame APIs, those things matter, but they don't matter for what we're doing right now. Right now, we're looking at making some tooling around migrating SQL queries. Um, so we'll come back to the data set data from APIs when we're looking at the Scala and Java migration tools. So instead, we are going to take a look. OK. Uh, yeah. So these type conversions, this one is going to be annoying. Um, that one's hard. So one thing is, OK, one thing that I'm thinking about, um, incidentally, is also like a comp migration tool. Um, and so that's actually something that we're going to go ahead and I'm going to do up here, too. Um, um, load spark config. Migrate um, Spark configuration such that legacy behavior is, for the most part, uh, maintained when possible. Um, legacy. So this is like some jank work in progress stuff. Um, but uh, here we go. But so in the meantime, I don't know how we're going to handle. So let's go. We're going to go back and look at the rules. Uh, OK. Um, but we're not going to know the types of the fields, because SQL doesn't give me shit in the way of types. So the most that I can do Spark 3.0 string to end cast. Uh, um,
guess we could. Would... Hmm. So cast as int. Okay. Code some more. Um, okay. I guess what I'm going to do is start with making a new rule. Um, do do do. Um, so this is going to be uh, spark SQL cast change. Um, free auto uh, cast as int uh, strings fail. Instead, uh, use the Sorry, um, I'm. That's that's where I'm at. Um, I mean, a little bit of Python too, incidentally, but yeah. Um, This is some clunky shit. Um, namely, I. Ooh. Fascinating. It looks like they even have some Databricks stuff internally already. Let's search inside of this and see if there's any cast rules that we might be able to find. Okay. Go, I guess, SRC SQL flop. There is a Spark SQL dialog. Interesting. Not more interested in the rules. Let's go ahead. Rules. Uh, hi. Hey, Nova. Hey, 
Just as odd. Hmm. I wish these like had descriptions instead of just like random numbers. But okay. Sure. Let's let's just look at one of them. Segment Seeker Crawler. I think I'm going to want to end up grabbing around in this code to figure out what's going on. So let's go ahead and just clone this. Okay, 13 does something with casts, so let's go ahead and take a look at that. Oh, actually, let's... Okay. What does the eval function do here? Ah, uh, okay. So I have um, context segment is type cast. Um, 
other thing that I'm thinking about, and this is just like, oh, thank you. It, yeah, it's been a while. I'm sorry, I just haven't had the spoons to stream very much. But yeah, I'm working on it. Um, the other thing that I'm incidentally thinking about, um, but also thank you for the birthday wishes, is um, having this also uh, inside of a knit look at like a previous SQL run um, in Spark SQL so we can actually get the types of the columns. Um, but, hmm, or actually could I do that with the iceberg clients? Huh, maybe I actually could do this with the iceberg client. Oh, okay, cool. Thanks for the heads up. Uh, let me see what I can do. Oh, that's why. Ooh. It's using a different microphone than I thought. Let's scroll down. Yeah, okay. Is this is this any better? Ooh, that might actually be a little too loud. I'll dial it back to here. Yeah. Cool. Um which of these it's going to be, right? Like, is it going to be, I think, cast discretion. Um, not going to do anything just yet, I don't think. Um, but let's go ahead. Start. I can dial it back a little bit. Sorry, it is. It's one of those, one of those things. Um, um, what could I do? Oh. I gotta, I gotta, here. Oh. I'm gonna, I 
got a different microphone I can try switching in that might do a better job. Oh, God. Uh, fudge sickles? Fudge sickles. Oh, fudge sickles indeed. Oh. Got them all mixed up. Which one is which? Uh, no, that's not gonna work. Hmm. Well, okay. Tell you what. Let's try. Not that it's gonna do anything better, but we can try it. I'm gonna try th this one. I don't know. And yeah, okay. That's not doing. Sh Okay, let's try the digital input, I guess. I don't know, whatever. Okay, that's barely registering. Uh, okay, that, that looks a little better, actually. Yeah, okay. Whatever. Um, it is what it is. Oh, is it not working anymore? <laughs> oh, it's no longer registered with my face. There we go. Nerd. There we go. Nerd. Okay. Uh, super happy fun times. The values of super happy fun times, which are not that. Um, And whatever. Um, no, actually. So I'm. Uh, I switched to. I've got a little Ozbot um, that I really like, uh, but the microphone on it is very hit or miss. And I've been meaning to upgrade the firmware, but I have to reboot into Windows to do that. Um, so I haven't done that for a while yet. I should. I should do that. Um, actually, I'm going to go grab some more coffee. I will be right back um, with more coffee because my brain is just... I am back with coffee. Um, let's see if this thing recognizes me again or if I have to redo the setup. Okay, no, it still recognizes me. Great. Oh, I love coffee. Okay. <sighs> Okay. Go ahead and run the tests. Um, oh, 
let's restart my rock walk machine. What's in the manifest file? Hmm, okay. That's definitely something that I'm going to need to change as well while we're here. Test? Is that what they use? I don't know. Um, cool. Mm, no. It's possible that this example is a little bit out of date, which that happens, especially when you don't have your examples included as part of your tests. Let's see. Hmm, okay, testing about rules. Yep, okay, so that's fine. The examples just out of date. That's unfortunate. Uh, it definitely means that, like, you can't, like, be too sure that this is gonna, like, actually work. Wait, what the fuck? Test rules. From SQL fluff. Wait, what? The fudge? Wait, this.
Okay. Spark SQL cast change. Spark SQL cast change. Uh, what? to allow list unknown rules. I don't know what the fuck that means. Do I have to do some more registering magic? I can see that. Okay. I guess I do have to give it this kind of annoying format. Huh. That's weird. Cause like
tried to allow this when no one was. But that's definitely there. Am I missing something? Okay, let's go ahead and take a look for all the references to this. There's only two. Interesting. Ah, okay. Okay, cool. Progress. Like, it's it's finding the rule. Um, that's progress of a sort, I would say. Uh, hi. Moderate progress. Um, not not a lot, but moderate progress. Okay, I think there's some shit that I need to do to make it so that it recurses. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at. This is really only called once. And similarly, okay.
Okay, so, okay, yeah. Uh, segment seeker crawler. Okay, what is... Okay. Let's go ahead and take a look at uh, SQL plot I want to develop a rule. Ah, okay. Okay, cool. And there's also this lint fix class. Oh, heck yeah. Okay. Yeah, so, okay, let's. Set this to true. No. Huh. Oh, no, it defaults to true. Okay, so it says it calls it for each element in the tree. 
but I'm not seeing that because when we run it, it looks like it's only called once, which doesn't make sense to me, right? This doesn't. Okay. So in theory, right? L01. No, let's. Okay, so segment secret caller. I still don't heckin' know what exactly this is doing. Uh,
crazy. Oh. Yeah, okay. So what I'm saying to this is give me this. And it is. Um, and actually, really what I'm interested in. is this give me all of the functions theory So then now we're going to get called twice. Yeah, OK, cool. OK, this is making more sense. OK. Okay, okay. I dig it. This is starting to. Okay.
description segment that has no object has no attribute children. Okay. We're back. Function name segment bracketed segments.
so I'll give us the function name. I don't know. That's a good question. I just, that's what I've been doing for so long. It just feels comfortable. Um, Instances of function used in the rules. Uh, uh, and seventeen. Heck yeah. That gives me what I want. Uh, okay. So we go ahead, we grab the function name, bracketed components. want the start bracket. Hmm. It's not quite what I want.
Nika. So yeah. So we're like here. I don't actually care about this one anymore. Oh yeah, let's uh, can I make this a functional context? Let's find out. Would be easier with an ID, it's true, but um, Bracket of segment should have children, right? If we look here, bracket it. Fundamentally, what I want is I want the data type identifier.
should have children. Yeah, why is this not showing the children? Why is get children not giving me back what I think it should give me back? Why is cast children empty? So you are a bracketed segment. You've got star bracket and bracket. What else lives inside of you? Oh, that's the property. Okay, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so there there we go. There's a bunch of shit in there.
one that I want. Is this a table table for my fire? I hope you do. Oops. Okay. If So that's fine. So then, what we would do... Okay, cool. And we know we're going to be uh, possible. Uh, do, 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 do. Is this a cast function? Uh, function. So, um, then what we're going to do is after, um, uh, expert is equal to, Okay, cool. This is getting getting there. So it's a new code base, so that's uh, okay. So Results. Um, uh, this is um, sorry, yeah, this is Emacs. So it's some people would call it an IDE, some people would call it a text editor, um, somewhere in between the two. Oh, my uh, handy dandy camera stopped following me again. God damn it. Heck in software. Well, firmware, really. Oh, right, because I went downstairs. Yeah. Oh. Okay, how are we doing? Yeah, we're doing okay. Okay. Um, oh. I'll 
be right back. Um, again, I think. Yeah, I'm hungry. Oh. Well, actually, you know what? This is this is maybe an okay starting point. Um, or sorry, stopping point. So it's been like an hour and a half. And I could I could maybe use a break. Um, let's see. Although maybe maybe we can keep going. Um, oh, there's Fox Sound sleeping spin on lobster dust. You know what? Actually, yeah. Um, we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna I'm gonna take a break. I think. Um, and I'm going to go do a little bit of uh, jazzercising, uh, which is to say, like, I'm going to eat a snack and uh, go, go from there. Um, if, probably join Fox Sound's uh, sit and spin uh, exercise class. Um, i got to figure out how I can, there we go, uh, creator dashboard maybe. Okay. Uh, raid channel. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go and join uh, sit and spin because it's it's Wednesday. I could use a little bit of exercise. I could use a little bit of a break. Um, so what we'll actually do before I do that is we're gonna go ahead. Um, we'll start adding some things. Um, we'll we'll commit where we are. You know, it's not. It's certainly far from perfect, but uh, that's that's okay. Um, Uh, work in progress. Um, start writing down potential uh, conf migrations and start on a uh, SQL cast int uh, rule migration. Cool. Um, this is this is work in progress, but I just I want to do this commit because like. If I if I don't, you know, when when I come back, like who knows, who knows. Yeah, that makes sense. All right, my, my brain is made of cheese. Uh, is a TLDR. So, if anyone wants to join me, I'll probably in like five ten minutes join the um, Fox Sound Sit and Spin on Twitch. Do a little bit of exercise with my snacking, uh, and then we'll we'll come back afterwards. And uh, do some more do some more work on this after lunch. See y'all. Thanks thanks for joining.